Soul Tribe, what's going on? Yeah, two days in a row. <laughs> yeah, Hercules, Hercules. Let me turn it down. My name is Kalila Joy. Welcome to Joy Says Healing 22. Thank you for visiting my channel. I'm just going to do a general uh, reading and see what spirit, our ancestors, whomever you pray to, got to say for us, what information or messages they want to give us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Ascended Masters. We ask you to protect us as we go into the white... Uh, Oh, Lord, as we go into the tarot or oracle cards, what messages do you have for us, spirit? What what guidance do you need you have for us, my guardian angels? Ascend a master, what lessons are we are, you're trying to teach us? Whatever messages, we ask you to protect us with the white light. And we love you. And it is so. Namaste. All right, soul tribe. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see what Spirit got to say. What's the overall energy? Thank you for like, share, all the like, share, subscribes. Um, if you are requesting a reading, um, like I said, you, two questions, 22 something, 22. And if you need a, a yes or no, what a short explanation. Um, I might do that for $2. I don't know. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you for all the shares. Thank you for the support. I have a TikTok channel. Much love. I appreciate you guys. All right, let's go. Let's see what Holy. Let's see what Spirit got to say. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. We got hope and self love here. Hope you love your loved ones in the spirit world want you to know when you reach out, if they see you, you are in a low point, whether you caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. Okay. So some of you may be going door dealing with a difficult person or trying to heal a difficult situation. And we also have self-love here. Now is the time to love and nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It is a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and mature from the actions you take to support your body and your mind and your soul. So, um, don't lose hope. And focus on your self-love and forgiveness at the bottom. Oh, Lord. Okay, somebody. All right, so try to underline energy. Spirit saying, have hope. Hold on to hope. Know that, um, that they are working with you as you go through this difficult time or struggling with a specific person. Could be family, could be a lover, could be anything. And the Spirit wants you to also to know now is the time to nurture and love yourself and practice on some practice forgiveness holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging to a human emotions the act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredible powerful and it has been in the capacity to heal and transform yes it does let go of any resentment, nurture yourself, and keep hope alive. I <laughs> just hope Jesse Jackson. You know, it might be difficult or you might be struggling or you may have fell out with a friend or a family or a lover or whatever. Spirit heard your prayers. prayers. Spirit knows your heart. And they want you to focus on nurturing yourself and forgiving these individuals or forgiving these individuals that was involved in the situation. Okay. Now what we're gonna go to. Oh, you know, I gotta go. Let's see what's going on with the energy for the day. Okay. Spirit said pull four cards, maybe five. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, the third chakra. 
Yeah, so some of you are uh, tapping into your creativity, your... Um... Oh, I just had a... Some of you are working on some projects that you have been procrastinating, putting behind, or implementing them now. And it's probably, um, this is probably a way of you um, nurturing yourself and forgiving yourself and having some type of hope. I'm not saying that, you know, to bury yourself in work and projects. Uh-oh, okay. We always got somebody with some drama. All right, hostilities, okay. So I don't know if you're mad or this hopeless situation or this, What's going on that's causing you for you to, what well, spirit is asking you to focus on um, nurturing yourself and free, forgiving. Somebody is still hostile. I don't know if it's you collective or the person or situation that you've been dealing with. Yeah, somebody, some of you are still angry. Huh? Some of you are still angry about a situation or at a person. Or there's some type of violence going on. Someone needs to make a decision. You're still indecisive. Okay. What are you indecisive about? Oh. Someone's indecisive about a happy family situation. Okay. So some of you probably been fighting with your significant other or your divine counterpart. What's hidden is that um, you got a happy family, the rainbow. So that's God promises, you know. Yeah, a situation or something. If this is not regarding love, maybe you're losing hope on some type of opportunity or job or business. And Spirit wants you to know that you, um, to not worry about it. God's promises is coming through. Yeah, they say, hold on to hope. God heard your prayers. God knows your answer. Why are you being hostile? Or somebody still hostile? Okay, uh-oh, okay. We got two that fell out here. But, I'm going to take it because although he got broken heart and blossom abundance with it, I'm going to take those ass together. Yeah, someone is healing their broken heart. What's hit, what you don't know is that you're going to be happy. Have hope. Maybe some of you have lost hope in love. I think the current energy, you might be beefing with your partner or your lover. Or maybe you just recently broke up. Um, you feel like if you're dealing with someone or you're currently in a relationship or something like that, you have you still have some indecision. Or the person you're dealing with has not yet made a decision or need to make a decision. And this is breaking your heart. What's hidden is that you want to be happy. Some abundance is going to come in. Spirit wants you to be patient. Yes, you got to be patient with yourself and the situation. And focus on nurturing on yourself. And focus on forgiveness. I might make this, because I usually do like a TikTok video for the next 48. Spiritual news and tea. I think of this is going to be my next 48 spiritual news and tea. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to the tarot. So if this regarding love, I, I I feel that this is about, I believe that you are either got an argument or a fight or you got some type of anger or resentment, resentment still. The spirit wants you to nurture yourself and practice forgiveness. Let this shit go because you're only hurting yourself. If you're if you're dealing with someone or was dealing with someone, this person is very indecisive. Looks like this person is confused. But what you don't what's hidden is you have some type of abundance. I mean, rather if if you lost something, if you lost a loved one, or if you lost some type of love interest or whatever, remember it's never lessons are blessings. You never lose, you learn. Although you got a broken heart, some type of abundance is going to help you heal this broken heart. Yes, you're still going to be broken hearted. You know, maybe someone have not decided and they're still deciding to stay in this happy family dynamic. I don't know. But we're going to go. Let's go to third chakra. But it looks like it's your spirit, whatever you're doing, you're being creative. You're nurturing yourself. 
And spirit don't want you to lose hope because of this situation. Or maybe you're waiting on some type of money or job opportunity and a decision has not been made yet. Some, I mean, if this situation don't turn out, if you and this person don't reconcile or get back together, spirit is saying, although you want to be broken hearted, some type of blossom abundance is going to make it all better. It's going to make it easy to get healed through. Yeah, two of cups, in reverse, yes. Yeah, I think some of you collective have fell out with a soulmate or a karmic soulmate. Because with the two of cups in all my reverse cards is... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. I messed up. Spirit just told me to look at this indecision card again. This indecision card is in the reverse. So this person you are dealing with had made some type of decision. And it has something to do with a happy family. Maybe this person um, chose someone over you. Maybe that's why you still got broken heart here and blossom abundance. Oh, Lord. If you're still resenting and upset with this person, this person can feel that energy. There's some type of uh, soulmate. What is hostilities about? It's always about love, ain't it? Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, somebody is stuck or no longer being stuck in the tower. Oh, my Lord. Oh, if this not you, Collective, somebody is no longer stuck. They have been aligning and a tower happened. It's going on. This is the current energy. It's some type of fight or battle because somebody made some type of decision. An outcome, somebody broken hearted with the blossom abundance. Or someone is going to be abundant and someone's going to be left broken hearted. But it's a tower moment going on. Expect some type of a tower moment. Self-love, forgiveness, hope. Mm. What is this indecision? What is this indecision? Yeah, somebody breaking up today. This is the next 48. Somebody's going to get some type of truth and untie themselves. Oh, Lord. Somebody spying on you. The person, if we're talking about a lover... That you fell out with and you was you lost hope and there's some forgiveness and healing need to be done in this situation. This person made a decision and they've been spying on you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces uh Scorpio. Mm. You're looking at this cup of love. Or someone want to offer you a cup of love. If someone sees you as a loving, intuitive, giving person. And they want to have some type of happily ever after. That's what hidden. Or you don't know that someone is, someone has been watching you, okay? Someone was indecisive in the recent past. They've been spying and they came to some type of decision. And they want to have some type of happily ever after with you. Because they see you as the queen of cups. There's some tower moment. If this not you, um, somebody is un is coming down off this tree because we got the hangman in reverse. Somebody is no longer being stuck or indecisive. And there's some type of tower going down today or in the next 48. So if this ain't you, Collective, you know, if you are already um, separated from this person, lost some type of hope and trying to be patient and forgiving, yeah, oh, we got to take action right there. Hostile. It's some type of fight going on. If this ain't you, maybe this is the person you've been dealing with. Oh, my goodness. What is this um, Blossom Abundance about? Yeah. But the star in reverse, this, something is not healing. Something is not coming to fruition. Yeah, someone need to heal. That's why they need someone need to heal their broken heart. Mm -mm -mm. 
and it, and then until they heal, that's gonna um yeah. Oh, six of wands. Okay, so if this, I don't see anything down here that say anything about a third party or a love triangle going on, but someone um a situation needed to be healed, and somebody is bringing a tower down today. Period. And somebody's going to be broken hearted, be left broken hearted, but someone else going to feel like they had a victory. Apply how it goes. There's some forgiveness that needs to be here. Oh, you might be dealing with the king of wands. You might be dealing with a fire sign. Okay, the secret is out. This, somebody wants to apologize, but they know you are very defensive. The higher fan. This probably got to do some with a higher level commitment, your husband and wife. Or God is here. God is giving this person the strength. They're not happy with these boundaries that were set up. Mm. All right. Okay. But since we got a lot out here about love, let's take a... Uh, I was looking for my... Yeah, I was looking for these. Let's see. Let's see what the love angels got to say. Because I got to think this message is about love. It's about love and money. I I try to focus on both. I know a lot of people every day be trying to watch YouTube or Tarot. Like, what my person doing? Girl, dude, don't be worrying about what that motherfucker doing. When you focus on yourself and keep moving forward, what's for you is for you. What will come back to you will come back to you. Don't matter how bad the tower was. Or somebody is... Oh, I just heard that maybe you had a tower moment with this person because they was being indecisive and sneaky. And now they are now they've been spying and watching you and they want to come and offer you some type of cup of love. Let's get a, a um let's get a love oracle card. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, Ascensus the Spirit God. Aw. It says, give this relationship a chance. Wedding. Oh, my God. We did see the hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Oh, Lord. Somebody wants to be in a higher level of commitment with you. I don't know how you feel about that. Maybe you've been praying about this situation. Codependent. Yeah, somebody was very codependent. Addictions was affecting this romantic life. This person probably has some addictions that you didn't know about with that moon card. Could be sexual, could be drugs, or whatever. But this person is getting up the strength. Expect some type of honeymoon period. They want to have... Somebody want to fuck. But what is this? I don't like this vicar, victory. Somebody... um. Most likely see your, uh, know that they broke your heart. And they want to have um, romantic feelings. Yes, this person want to heal this shit. They want to, they don't, playfulness. They want to play with you, have fun. They want to heal your heart and have some type of victory with you. Oh, I like that, sweet. Yes, yeah, so you may feel like y'all, they want to get to know you again. You know, if this is somebody new. Yeah, this person is taking action. They want to get to know you again. Ain't that nice. What we'll, we'll, we'll we want to know? Mm, whatever. Okay. All um, karmic cards to me, I mean, all reverse cards to me is um, karmic energy. So I'm, I don't know if this person is a karmic in your life. But you have a lot more upright. Did something. Maybe this person was dealing with somebody else and decided not to and made a decision not to heal this situation and to heal it with you and have some type of victory with you. They're gonna come in playful. Like ain't shit didn't even happen. But okay, whatever. Yeah, but we're gonna see what these reverse cards is and we're gonna go into the karmic tales three by your inner chakra. Hello, your inner chakra. Oh, Lord. Yeah, somebody was self-absorbed self and was um, playing with magic. 
it could be the person they're breaking up this off with and deciding not to heal the situation you because it look like they want to come to their queen of cups the queen of cups is pre-empress energy and it's just like the nine of pentacles that's someone that's loving caring intuitive um all-knowing you know queen of cups is the mother of the dead the loving mother of the dead what is that male i told y'all about doing that this is my male I'm a male right there. I might have a important letter coming through. And you want to... Yeah, somebody is out of control. Thank you, Nadia. Someone is totally fucking out of control and self-absorbed. Yeah. Or that's what this person was. Whoever broke up with... Whoever broke up or fell out Somebody was enlightened about something. Somebody came off the tree. Probably you now. Yeah, this person has a lot of romantic feelings for you. Whatever. Yeah, someone decided to get a relationship a chance. Why is the two of cups here in reverse? <sighs> Love yourself. Loving me. Self-love again. Yeah, somebody wasn't loving themselves, so... And somebody was settling for some bullshit or whatever. And uh, a tower moment happened. Why is the hangman here? Oh, yeah. Married man in reverse. It fell out in reverse. So this person, you probably had a tower moment with... You probably realize that they're they were still trying to work on their relationship, or you probably find out that this person was married. But with the married man in reverse, I don't think this person is no longer in that relationship. Because they look like they're trying to have some type of victory over a broken heart. They want to come in playful. They want a clean slate with you. Someone wants a clean slate and a do-over. With the hangman in reverse. Mary man found out already yes, this person is officially separated legally and or divorced and they want to clean slate and do over with the queen of cups right here. They want a happily ever after. They have a romantic feelings about this person. This could be you collective that's watching. Maybe you got strong water in your chart. I didn't even ask nothing. Yeah, somebody was a, was a narcissist. Probably was dealing with a Taurus or somebody with a strong Taurus in their chart. They were self-absorbed. Why well, is the star in reverse? Oh, yeah. Somebody spoke their truth. Okay. So, you, maybe you're a person you're dealing with finally spoke their truth and made some type of decision. This person uh, with emotional unavailable coming out in reverse. This person is now um, being removed. It's now their heart chakra is opening up. They having some type of romantic feelings. Yeah, there's is some type of differences between you two. Could be dealing with a Gemini, with somebody with strong Gemini. They they still come. They, they they stuck in their head, or they was confused, conflicted. I don't trust anyone, but I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be a player no more in reverse. This person probably still in a low vibrant energy. It's a no for me, but I'm not going to take that. Oh, Lord. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get some advice card. Let's put some cards on your money, on your money situation. Let's clarify. Yeah, so, something that's going to happen is going to make you feel very, very happy. You probably been a little bit uptight. You probably had a moment of realization when it comes to your money or some big idea with the third chakra here. And maybe you moving fast and aggressive with it. And something came to an end regarding your money. Or you had to do a do-over. Spirit is saying, keep hope alive. Have have some type of patience. Focus on your self-love. Um, any messages for the collective regarding their money? 
Oh, awakening. Ten of Cups. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, somebody, um, you are about to be very, very abundant. And you are, and you have awakening to your purpose. This is the hangman in the upright. You've been stuck for a minute, but you are awakening to your purpose. And you are going to be very, very abundant in this. Um, Spirit's been trying to get you and push you to do this. But you've been, um been resistant to it probably because you was dealing with this toxic love situation i don't give a fuck what nobody say love and money go hand in hand i know some people be like well i don't let no shit or no bitch hoe motherfuckers or whatever affect my money or my cash flow but uh oh we got the four of wands yes you could be dealing with your twin flame yeah somebody want to come in and heal it they want to be playful have a clean slate Get to know each other all over again. I don't know how you feel about that, but whatever. Let's get a, a messages from our angels. What is this? Compromise. <laughs> yeah, this probably you, because this fell over here by the hostile. Somebody was married. The married man came out of reverse. They're no longer married or attached to that situation. Apply how it goes. I don't know if you communicate with this person or not. But spirit, your angels is asking you to compromise and trust. <laughs> compromise and trust, y'all. Uh, I'm going to take an advice card from Ayanna Van Zandt. But your money looking good. You're going to be very abundant. What, whatever decision you've been waiting on regarding a job or opportunity or whatever, a decision has been made and it looks like it's going to be a yes. You may be disappointed or broken hearted about something, but I think this is regarding love. But, um, oh, Spirit just told me if you've been waiting on some money, you might don't get all that you were suspecting, but you're getting just due. You know what I'm saying? If you're dealing with a legal situation, if you was waiting, even though Justice Card is not out here. All right, we're getting a vice card from Ayanna Van Zet. Deck. This deck is old as heck. It said, what places in your life you need loving, you need your love, that needs your loving attention? How much attention are you willing to give your life today? We suffer not from lack. We suffer from lack of attention. So, yeah. Some, yeah, some of you probably been stubborn, ignoring, been in hermit mode, not really fucking with people. Kind of a little angry or mad at the world or whatever. Or the person you've been dealing with it has been in hermit mode. But somebody want to heal. Um, someone decided not to heal a, uh, to heal a situation. They want to heal the situation and have some type of victory. If this is regarding money, if you were broken hearted or disappointed in the past, you're going to have some type of victory that's going to help you move help you move forward in your career or your money um things or whatever okay all right well that's it y'all um let's see let's see take a chakra we already had third chakra around here let's see get a chakra healing card um third chakra showed up again so i guess it says i trust myself fully I will not allow fear or doubt to hold me back from doing what I am here to do. I have confidence, belief, conviction in my abilities and goals. I welcome questioning by others as this gives me a chance to clarify my truth, my ideas, and my philosophies. I trust in a higher power. I am open to new challenges. Yes. So Spirit wants you to compromise. Be open to um, new challenges with your new projects or creativity. It's going to make you very, very happy. You're going to be loved or feel loved or you're going to be given lots of love. Um, I don't know. This heart broke, this heartbreaking, it came out in the upright. But I think some something that broke your heart is coming in. They, they want to come in and heal it and have some type of victory. You know, compromise, take baby steps. Oh, the emperor trying to show up. Somebody try to, 
Okay, Divine Masculine. Yeah, you might be dealing with an emperor. Yeah, they want some type of abundance and new beginning with you. Your heart might still be broken. But yeah, it was a tower moment in the past. This person been spying. Get this relationship a chance. Wedding. Oh, wow. It's a lot going on here. Well, this is. I'm going to make this my next 48 hours spiritual tea. Um, news reading. Uh, I usually write, you know, I take a picture of it because, you know, I go further into the meditation, whatever I didn't say in the video. If you need further clarification, I'm uh, um, probably have it in written forms because I do enjoy writing. I enjoy writing my readings more than I like getting on camera because I be nervous. You know what I'm saying? I just be nervous. I don't know. It seems like it just flow better because I don't have no other distractions. But yeah, yeah, money, money, money is good. Somebody want to heal a situation. Somebody is awakening to the connection. Somebody know that they broke your heart. I don't know. A tower moment happened with your soulmate. This is a high level spiritual soulmate. You got ten of cups out here twice. So, I mean. You got the happy family, the rainbow, then you got the ten of cups again. Somebody's waking up. And you need to trust the universe. You need to forgive. Spirit heard your prayers. Spirit will not allow this person to come back in your life without, without giving you no type of discernment of what's really going on. But somebody want to, you know, not necessarily probably come put a ring on it or whatever, but somebody want to have some type of balance and happy ever after. And you probably need to, you know, in order to forgive or heal the situation, you probably need to get to know each other. You know, sometimes people been knowing each other or been with each other for a long time and they outgrow one another or they don't understand the evolve or the new person that you become. So, you know, maybe this person tried to treat you like a piece of shit. Basically was hostile, mean, abusive or whatever. They was the emperor in reverse, but now it's like somebody want to be the emperor in the upright. They want to heal some type of situation. I'm not saying that you two are going to end up together, but this is going to give you an opportunity to heal, forgive, move forward, and love yourself even more. Thank you for visiting my channel. My name is Kalila Joy. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for all the donations and the requests for readings. Um, two questions. I can make a video of it. Or I can write it for you. It's up to you. I prefer to write it and just take a picture of it and send it to you. Because I ain't that tech savvy. And they be like, the video too long. You can't upload it. You can't email it. You can't text it to this person. So, hell. I got no shit to worry about. I love you all. Peace out.